नाव शिव सूत्रास विल बी एक्सप्लेन्ड हियर तत्र प्रथमम नरेशर वेदवादी प्रातिपक्षेन चैतन्य परमार्थता शिव एव विश्वस्य आत्मा इति आदिष्यति फर्स्ट एट फर्स्ट ही एक्सपोजेस हियर दैट द रियलिटी ऑफ यूनिवर्स इज सेल्फ इट इज नॉट फॉल्स द रियलिटी ऑफ यूनिवर्स इज रियल सेल्फ and it is contrary to the uh, sayings and theory of those who who explain and define that nareshwar bedavadi individual is always individual and universal being is always universal being universal being will never be united with in individual being on the contrary he says individual being is one with universal being so the reality of this whole universe is god consciousness it is filled with god consciousness and the sutra is chaitanya mahatma the supreme consciousness is the reality of everything chaitanya mahatma atma means the reality of everything supreme consciousness is the reality of everything because yah comment commentary now yah ajaditasya kasyapi satta bhava the one who is not who has not come in consciousness he is not existing at all ajaditasya kasyapi satta bhava chitikraya sarva samanya roopa so the act of consciousness is same in conscious and unconscious the one who is conscious act of consciousness is there the one who is not conscious conscious of that the act of consciousness is there in the background chetyate eti chetana so the conscious being is that who makes others conscious and sarva gyan kriya swatantra who is independent in each and every knowledge and each and every action this state is called chaitanya complete independence sarva gyan kriya sambandhamayam who is the uniting agency uniting agency of all knowledges and of and of all actions all knowledges and all actions are united in what one consciousness and that is complete independence of god consciousness and that complete independence of god consciousness is possessed by parma shiva only anarshatam tanam tat paratantra vrittitva up to anarshata from uh, earth to anarshata shiva all beings are dependent to that uh, conscious being of shiva although that complete independent state of shiva <coughs> is possessed by many aspects of being eternal of being all pervading of being all full purnata all being all knowing but all these other aspects of lord shiva are found and could be found in other beings also so the one and the only aspect of lord shiva is complete independence swatantra any asam bhavina and that complete independence is found nowhere except in lord shiva the state of lord shiva so the complete independence the state of complete independence is shown here uh, with full effort 
सो इथम धर्मांतर प्रतिखेपत चैतन्यम भाव प्रतीन दर्शित सो चैतन्यम द वर्ड चैतन्यम नॉट द वर्ड चेतना इफ he would explain that there is there are other aspects also existing in the state of lord shiva other aspects than than his the aspect of complete independence swatantra there are other aspects all pervadingness um, all fullness all ananda such uh, and so on but as there, there is only one aspect one and one aspect and that is chaitanya that is swatantra swatantra so that swatantra is being exposed by the word chaitanya so chetana is not put in sutras instead of chetana he has put in sutras chaitanya bhav pratiya this shows chaitanya means the independent way of consciousness independent state of consciousness and that is self mm. that is self of everything whatever exists in this world because whatever exists in this world is state of lord shiva so lord shiva is found everywhere na punaranya kopi bedavadi abhibugat goto bhinna bhinna sabava and that bhinna bhinna sabava the different different um, aspects of lord shiva's shiva do not exist at all you those different aspects also would exist tasya achaitanye jhadhaya anatmatva chidatmate ved anupate chito deshikala kare chitvitreka achaitmanatena asadbi chaitmanatena tu chidatmabi vedas adatum ashakyatva that differentiated aspects of lord shiva if for the time being we would accept how could those different aspects exist <coughs> he explains the way to exclude them from from the aspects from being the aspects of lord shiva if those aspects are not filled with swatantra then they are jada then they are unconscious just like anatma if if those aspects too are also filled with independent consciousness of lord shiva then why not accept independent consciousness why to accept those aspects at all and at the same time if this state of god consciousness is existing in it is uh, uh, fullness of independence deshikala kare chidvitreka time space and forms also if they are separate from independent state of consciousness they are not existing nor is time existing nor is space existing nor is form existing chetmanatyenu tu chidatmati if they accept if we accept those those aspects also that he is nitya he is akala kalita he is vishwakara chetmanatyenu tu chidatmati if it is if they are accepted as independent then they are filled with consciousness if there is not in independence in in those then they are away then they have uh, uh, they have been carried away from that god consciousness so they are not existing at all in the state of lord shiva <coughs> 